everybody and welcome back to my channel. I thought it might be fun to do a little get ready with me. Today is my day to film videos and so I've got to put a face on. Do who uses a makeup primer? One of my favorite makeup primers is Too Faced um, Hangover Primer. Where is it? It's got coconut water in it and it's super, it's silicone free, super glides onto my face and leaves it feeling super prepped and moisturized. However, that said, we also have a fabulous one from Posh. Dawn On Me Face Oil is actually also a fabulous makeup primer. And the way I like to apply my foundation is with a beauty blender. And that's the same exact way you're going to apply Dawn On Me. You're just going to take your beauty blender and you're going to put a couple of drops right onto the big fat end. The big fat end. So I just apply those couple of drops and then I'm just going to press it onto my skin. Now, whenever you're using a, bl a beauty blender, you're just going to be pressing into the skin, just like this, in like a stippling motion. Priming your face is so super important, as well as moisturizing. I should have prefaced this by saying I'm fresh out of the shower, I've pinned my hair up, and I did my whole face routine. I did my serum, I did my moisturizer, and now I'm just kind of laying the oil down as an additional moisture as a primer. Super favorite makeup of the moment is this Marc Jacobs foundation. I have it in the color 14 Ivory. I am a very porcelain, porcelain fair skin though. And to apply my foundation, I'm just going to lay a little bit of it onto my beauty blender and go back at it. It's so much work to be beautiful, isn't it? I'm certainly no makeup artist, but I do know how to paint my face pretty okay. So after I've gone in with my foundation, then I'm going in with my concealer. And my favorite concealer of the moment is the NARS Creamy Concealer. And I use it in the shade Light 2 Vanilla. My war paint. So I've watched these tutorials on baking and once you've applied your concealer, if you really want to set it so that it doesn't move for hours and hours and hours, you're going to take your dampened beauty blender that you use to, to, um, to pat in your foundation and your concealer and you're going to dip it right into some loose powder. And I'm using the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder and then you're just going to stamp it right onto your concealer. And you're not going to worry about it getting too heavy. You really want to stamp a good amount of powder right on to where you applied your concealer. And so this is called baking. And if you want to learn more about it, Google a tutorial on somebody who's an expert on it. But the baking is essentially using the, the heat from your skin to really cook this makeup into it. It sounds terrible, but it does give a rather flawless finish. So you can't apply too much bake, really. And then you're going to let that set there for five to 10 minutes. In the meantime, I'm just going to take a fluffy brush with some of that same Laura Mercier setting powder and just go over the rest of my face to set the, the cream, um, to set the liquid foundation that I just laid down. Hmm. If I could just get something to take care of these forehead lines, then I'd be perfect. So sometimes I'll go and do a full on contour, but it's a rather nice summery day. I'm going to be filming some videos and then I'm going to head out and run some errands. So I'm just going to go for some light makeup today. I do need to give myself a little bit of a cheekbone. So I am between right now. This is my Benefit Cheekathon. So we've got the Hula Bronzer right here. But just last week I picked up the Marc Jacobs Omega Bronzer. And I've really been loving that one. So I'm gonna dip into the Marc Jacobs. And when you're doing your bronzer, you're going to wanna have a slightly domed brush. 
Again, I am not a makeup artist by any stretch of the means, but I have been shopping at Sephora and I have been a VIB Rouge for many, many years. So I know a thing or two about my own makeup and how to apply it. So anyway, you wanna go with that domed brush because that's really going to allow you to place the color where you want it. But because of the curvature at the top of the brush, it's going to really blend it and not leave any harsh lines. So I'm just gonna pick up a little bit of product and then you always wanna be tapping off the excess, otherwise you're going to have way too much product on your face. Something that I've learned from going and having my makeup done at Sephora so that I can learn a little bit more about the process is that you really don't wanna be pressing the brushes harshly against your face. You're just very lightly touching it to your skin. And with your bronzer, you're going just on top of the cheekbone, just maybe even slightly under it, depending on how high you wanna lift your face. And then you're going just under the jawbone. That's really going to create a shadow and really give you a little, you know, skinny effect. Have you ever heard of doing a three on the side of your face with your bronzer? Because that's really what you want to be doing. I always start with my cheekbones and then I hit my jawline and then I finish off with this three motion. That's really going to help bring in your forehead a little bit, especially if you've got a rather large one like I do. Just because I'm a product overachiever, I'm going to touch up a little bit of hula as well. time you have finished your bronzing it's time to kick off the rest of that extra bake and I just I'm using that same large fluffy brush time for some blush I'm gonna go back into my benefit cheekathon and I'm going to pick up I think a little Coralista today again you want to grab the color and then you want to kick off any extra and you're gonna lay your blush right on top of your bronzer. I like to sing. I am keeping my makeup very simple. I've just got my face on and now we're going to throw a little bit of highlight. Can't have too much highlight if you ask me. I like to use a big fan brush for my highlight. I'm going into my Becca highlighter and I'm just going to touch it. I'm gonna to tap off the excess and then. Okay, now your eyebrows totally frame your face, so it's really important that you shape your eyebrows. I'm kind of happy with the natural shape that I have. I like a thicker brow, but not too crazy thick. So I basically just kind of powder in a little bit so that my eyebrows are a little bit more pronounced. I've got this old palette from Smashbox that's got cream and powder shadows, and I've used this for years and years and years, and I'm still happy with it. Can you see the difference? This one's done, this one's not. Good enough for me. Again, totally not a makeup artist. And last but not least, lippies. I've got a brand new Kat Von D lippy in Lovecraft. 